So great news everyone, Dream Rope is officially available for Automatic 11.11. So I thought we were going to install that, check it out, see how it works. And uh, if you loaded your Stable Diffusion, there's a tab here called Extensions. Then you can go into Available here and press Load From. Now you have all the available extensions here. And you have Dream Booth. I'm going to just push Install. That has now been installed. So we now need to completely restart the web UI. Now as you're starting this, you're going to get some more installations done because Dream Booth is going to be automatically installed for you. While this is installing, I got something for you. A friend of mine used to install kitchen work surfaces, but uh, uh, he was arrested for counterfeiting. Anyway, this has completed, so we can reload our Stable Fusion. And now we have the Dream Booth tab here. Now you will still require a lot of GPU power. For Windows, it's about 10 to 12 gigabytes of, of VRAM, but at least it's available to a lot more people now. And it's actually, actually, now this is, Fantastic news for many, uh, many out there. You can run this full 100% CPU. Now it will take a lot of time, like overnight or as many hours, but it will actually work. So you, you can do this on a potato, but again, it will take time. We're gonna input our name here. Let's use Sebastian Dream Booth. We get our source checkpoint is the stable diffusion model and then you can click create so now we're creating the model but we have yet to train it so that's uh, going to be what we're doing in the next step all right so we have a working directory for this i'm gonna go into here the train model now there's a lot of settings here you don't need to touch all of them but some we need to touch the instance prompt is the prompt that you're going to use for your model so I'm going to use my face, so I'm ju just going to put myself in there. Make sure that you put something in that, that is not used in the training data already. You can't put like man in there, that's not going to work. You can put stuff like uh, nonsense words, stuff like that. Now you can use a class prompt, like for example, I, I, would, I would, could use man here, or if you're putting uh, uh, images of, of dogs, like your dog, you could put dog here. I'm going to skip this for now. But for fine tuning the model, you can play around with the class images. Here's the path to your input images. And this is the folder of my images. You can just go in here, click that, copy, and put that right in there. If you're using a class prompt, you need to uh, use classification images. We're not using that here. The training steps, a good baseline is uh, 100 steps for each image. I think I have, what was it, 12? 12 images, I'm going to do 1200 steps. One batch size, it's going to leave the learning rate default, the resolution is 512, that's good. If you want to save various models for various training steps, you can input that here. So let's say you have a training step, let's say you have 20 images, you have training steps of 2000, you could set this to, or leave it at default at 500, that would mean you would get a model for Training steps 500, 1000, 1500, 2000. You can check out different models and the training steps and how they interact with your input images to fine tune what, what you're looking for. I'm going to disable this because I don't, I don't want to do that. Let's check the advanced here. Yeah, if, you're, if you don't have a GPU that can handle this, you can use CPU only. It's going to be, as again, as stated, super slow. We're going to leave don't cache latents. That's going to be a little slower, but it's going to save on VRAM. Now, train text encoder also uses a little VRAM, but it's not required, but you're, you're going to get better images if you keep that. So if you can, try to. If you're running out of VRAM, you can uncheck this. Again, to save VRAM, you can check 8-bit Atom. Center crop here is if your images are not cropped to 512 by 512. It's going to automatically crop them. Uh, I'd prefer if you just crop them beforehand. Make sure your images are proper and in 512 by 512. Gradient checkpointing, we're going to leave that checked in. And that's going to save us some VRAM, but it's going to run a little slower. And a mixed precision here, we're going to set to FP16 to lower the VRAM even more. And the rest here are more advanced settings, so just leave them as default for now. Unless you really know what you're doing. 
All right, and then we're gonna start training. Now we've got creator select a model first, so we forgot to select our model up here. So this would be the one we created earlier, and then click train. So I wasn't able to record the training as the, my computer was maxing out. But once the training is finished, you can choose the model in your models list. I would recommend to use a GPU with at least 12 gigabytes of, of VRAM. Now 10 is technically possible. It's uh, a hard stretch uh, as of right now. It's brand new, it's buggy, but, uh, but it's here to stay. Dreamboot in Automatic 11.11 really is the way forward uh, because of its ease of use and easy install. Now, if you can't get it to work, there are still Dreamboot collab options. I would recommend both Shivams and The Last Band. Uh, they're both great. And uh, whenever there's a new update or a lower VRAM requirement, I'd try to make a new video out of it. So yeah, have a good one. See ya.